Yo, what's going on guys? McGuigan 110 here, bringing you another video. I know I said I'd do a little bit more videos, but I've kind of just been, you know, just grinding and enjoying the long weekend. Hopefully you guys all had a great Easter. <clears throat> but anyways, um, I've done, I've done some things since, since the last video, and they have released the first event of MLB 18. It is the opening week event. Uh, no, I do not want to play a game. So yeah, welcome to the first event of the MLB, Diamond Dynasty, whatever, whatever. So there are six inning games, your Mats team overall is 70, and your Mats player overall is 82. So you can't use a card over 82, and you kind of have to balance. And this this is going to be kind of like a tip video for you guys on how to get uh, the Lenny Deitcher, which is the big cumulative reward, and how to get 12 wins every entry. Now, this is pretty much all I've been playing, and I don't know if you guys seen, but I was kind of scrolling through my team. Uh, I'm at 175k stubs right now, and that hit, like every stub I've gotten so far has come from this event. I did get the Lenny Dykstra, uh, there he is, he's a 9 overall posting, we'll take a look at that card uh, in a bit. But every 12 win that you get, so you can go either 12-0 and 0 or 12-1 and uh, 1 and get an 85-89 to 89 Live Series Diamond, 9 would you get 80-82, to 82, Silver, Bronze, etc, etc for 6-3. Uh, the standings aren't accurate. They go off of ranked seasons, and that's how you will uh, find people in events. So I'm 650 rated in seasons, and say I don't know what the rating mod and stuff would have to do with it, but uh, I usually face people around you know 600, like anywhere from like 400 to 700 rating, you know. Um, so it's not too tough. I have gone 12 and all, or gotten 12 and like I've gotten a couple 12 and ones. But I've gotten 12 wins 7 times so far in this event. So I've gotten, uh, I got Lenny Deitcher because the cumulative, uh, wins weren't counting until yesterday morning. So I grinded out a couple runs, uh, yesterday and I got, I got the Deitcher today. So I needed to get Deitcher. Uh, he was a bit more, he, he's not as many subs as he was. So we can, we can take a look at that card now. He is a 90 overall center fielder on the Phillies postseason. 93 contra versus righties, 81 versus lefties, 71 versus uh, 71 power versus righties, 55 power versus lefties, 96 vision is kind of nice, 125 plate discipline, uh, not a very good fielder, and he's actually, he's pretty fast, I mean, uh, with the way the speed is in this game, he's actually probably rapid, so, I guess that's not bad, this card is like a good, like, first month card if you just want to grind out and your team is not that good, but, realistically, this card looks like a more buffed Christian Yelich if I had to compare him to anything. So I sold him, I sold him I believe for 58k, yes I did. I sold him for 58k there. But now, 175k and you've seen that I do have a Mike Trout in my uh, collection. So I did not get Trout from the events, you cannot get Trout from the events, but I did, uh, I did get him for 335k. And uh, I don't know how much he is uh, now, so he's 355. I got a buy order for him, so I mean, at the very least, even if I do lose some stubs on him, I mean, I'll always have I'll always have Trout. So, but as I said, I've gone 12 and 0 seven times, and once I show you the rewards, I'm gonna kind of give you some tips, give you some good players that you can use. So uh, every time you get 12 wins, you get an 85 to 89, and you get an 80 to 82 uh, gold. So my most recent one was last night. I got Chris Sale and Dallas Keuchel. And I think I got Nate Jones too uh, from from that because it was like my 20 win cumulative. So I got him. I got Starling Marte, uh, Jose Ramirez, and that's the, not the last time you'll see him. I got Jose Ramirez twice during this. So I'm there for 48.7. Uh, Zimmerman, Nola, all these gold. I actually bought Zimmerman. So Nola I sold. Joey Votto, who was a very good one to get, I sold him for 90. Uh, I believe he was my second best reward. They see the Alex Wood, Anthony Rendon, Rendon, excuse me, David Price. I did not get Bellinger. I had Bellinger and I sold him. Uh, Francisco Lindor I got from the event. Uh, Real Mudo, Pedroia. Bumgarner is probably the worst one I've got, but there you see there. Stanton, baby. We did get Giancarlo Stanton. So, I mean, if you count them all, Stanton, Bumgarner, uh, Lindor, and where is... I had another... Yeah, there's the first Jose Ramirez. So, Jose Ramirez, I got the first one. Second one, I got uh, Stan and Cano, I'm pretty sure, and then we got Bumgarner, and then we got Lindor, then we got Votto, and then we got uh, Jose Ramirez again, 
And then, uh, I got seven. Yeah, Nevada. Yeah. So there are the seven. I'm going to kind of just show you. So the way you want to kind of approach this event, you definitely want to go all common uh, starting pitchers. So the lowest overall you can get, if you got, if you don't have really just any common pitcher, because um, you're just really going to take them out after one at-bat. So just find someone that hopefully won't give up a home run the first pitch of the game or the first batter of the game. And that's it. But as far as your team setup, I will show you what my team setup looks like right now in these seasons. So a catcher, I have uh, just regular Kyle Schwarber. He can't play catcher. Now, he is an awful, awful fielder behind the plate, but he hits bombs. He's He, he does his job in, in hits home runs, you know, gets hits and gets on base. Uh, here are my stats for Schwarber, 111 plate appearances. 15 home runs, 30 RBIs, uh, 370 average with a 423 OBP. He kills up behind the plate. I was before him using uh, gold Alex Avila. He wasn't terrible, but I mean, Schwarber is just so much better. And I mean, the one reason why I liked Avila is because his defense wasn't near as bad as Schwarber. But I mean, the one thing Schwarber, like, Schwarber doesn't drop the ball. Like, he just can't throw people out, which, I mean, it's pretty hard to throw people out anyways. But I mean, if you slide step. Uh, Schwarber can, like, I've thrown out D. Gordon, I've thrown out Billy Hamilton a couple times, so, I mean, once in a, once in a while, you will say out of ten times, you might throw those guys out, like, once or twice, but, I mean, he definitely makes up for it, uh, with his, with his bat. Uh, at first base, I use, uh, Gold Miguel Cabrera, hold up, I'll actually make it too, so, uh, Schwarber, I use at catcher, and then at first base, I use Gold Miguel Cabrera, he's usually up on inside edge. And I really, really like Miggy this year. I, did, I hated Miggy last year. I absolutely hated Miggy last year. But this year, I, I do really like... Actually, I think I used Miggy at third, but I did use my first for a while. 177 plate appearances, 19 dingers, 34 RBIs, 325 average, a 373 OBP. I absolutely love Miggy, as I said. He wasn't very good last year. And then with inside edge, that is just ridiculous. That's what, 98 contact? And then what, like... Uh, I, I can't do that math as hard, so... What is that, 81 power, I think? Absolutely love Miggy, but I have been rocking Miggy at... Da, 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 I'll just throw... I have been rocking Miggy at third. And then, at first, I've been using... Uh, as you've seen, I bought Ryan Zimmerman. So I haven't played with Zimmerman too much. Only 44 plate appearances, 386 uh, OBP. He's not bad. Uh, I know a couple of my buddies recommend it, so I'll give him some more, uh, some more time, but... I was using Miggy at first, and then I was using uh, Jonathan Scope at third. Now, I haven't used Scope since he had inside edge, so I, I might have to put him back in, but 333 average, 373 OBP. Uh, I was off to a really hard, a really hot start with Scope, and then kind of, like, dimmed down, like, he wasn't as good, but uh, he's, he's definitely really good defensively as a cannon for an arm. But sometimes with the 60 reaction, like, if he's playing third and the ball, like, kind of dribbles down the line, he gets, like, the bad animation. Like, it goes down the line for a double or a triple. So that's not very good. And honestly, I just, I like Miggy more and I like Zimmerman more, so. Um, and then for second base, I mean, he's already here. I mean, <sighs> people look at this card and they're like, okay, if he made contact with it, he's good. Now, the one thing with Shimp is that he, he is incredibly bad in the field. Not so much where he just, like, doesn't, like, catch anything or, like, he muffs every ground ball to him. But it's the turning the double plays, actually throwing the ball where he takes forever to do. And that's, that's what kind of sucks, but, I mean, then you look at his stats and, okay, he definitely makes up for it. 382 average, 430 OBP, almost 50 home runs, and then 88 RBIs. Now, one thing with Shimp, he does have a shift, but I mean, uh, he's definitely, I mean, in my opinion, he's the best card in the game right now, and I don't think there's really any disputing that. He's so, 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 so good. So, we'll keep Shimp at uh, second, and I will kind of line this up to how I have it uh, on my team. I believe I have it like that so far. So, so it's second we have Shimp, and then uh, I'll do my bench in a bit here. Uh, at third, we already do uh, have somebody there, and then at short. So short, I usually use uh, Paul DeYoung or Trevor Story, depending on uh, inside edge. I've been using Paul DeYoung today. I actually probably should be using Story, 
But uh, I just kill it with Paul DeYoung. 412 average, 444 OBP, 23 knocks, 46 RBIs. And then uh, Trevor Story, not as good, but I mean, uh, Story is definitely better against lefties. He definitely has the better splits against lefties. So, But Paul DeYoung's a little bit more uh, well-rounded, and they're both kind of shitty in the field, so... I just been preferring Paul DeYoung the last couple uh, the last couple of runs, so we'll slot him in at shortstop, uh, wherever that is. And now left field. Now this is where it kind of gets out of control. So in left field, we have Joey Gallo. Uh, yeah, 111 power when he's up on inside edge, and that's not even five star inside edge. Now his vision, he's very similar to Shift, except he's actually like bigger and like he's he's like really big, and he he also does have a shift. So I throw him in left uh, because center fielder I do have like a natural like good fielder in center. So I throw him in left. Uh, I do lead off Joey Gallo, so 321 average. That's why his uh, OBP is so high because he gets so many leadoff walks. 46 home runs, 69 RBIs. The thing is with Gallo, it's either home run or pop up. Like there's not really uh, there's not really an in between <laughs> from there. It's either a home run or a pop up most of the time. So. That's the thing with Gallo, so we can slot him in in left field, and I do lead Gallo off, so we can set it up like that. Uh, in center field, I have uh, Marcelo Zuna. He's not up on IE on the day, but he's a great fielder, and he's also not too bad uh, at the plate. Doesn't really hit a lot of home runs, but he, he definitely gets like a lot of gap shots and like a lot of hard hit balls. 309 average, 361 OBP though, so we can throw him in center. I try and like speed this up a little bit, and then in right is another kind of silly one, but we have Miguel Sano. Uh, he's so well-rounded. Uh, he also has a cannon for an arm. Can play the corner outfield, and he absolutely just has a ridiculous amount of power. I hit him second, 354 average, 406 OBP. I believe that might be my second highest OBP behind Shimp. 244 plate appearances, 28 uh, home runs. Absolutely demolishes the ball, so we can throw him in right. And this is how I set up the team. So we go Gallo lead off Sano uh, second. Shimp third, and then we go Paul DeYoung fourth, Miggy five, Schwarber six, uh, Ozuna seven, and then Zimmerman eight. Now as far as the bench, so this isn't too bad. You get what one, two, three, three silvers, uh, a cup. Uh, that no, it's a bronze. Two bronzes, and then what one, two, three golds. So that's not that's not too much. Uh, all together, I mean, I don't know, I'd say Gallo's like a K, so Noah's probably like 1K, Schimpf is like 100 stubs, and De Jong's like a, a K, Miggy, I want to say he's like 4 or 5, Schwarber's probably 100, Ozuna might be like 5 or 6, and Zimmerman's like 2, so add it all together, it might be like 11, 12, 13, 14K, something around there, so not too much, I mean, you can kind of tweak it, but the thing is here, everybody can hit home runs, everybody is a power threat, and that's what I want, I know people love using uh, like D Gordon and Billy Ham with the first event, no, go strictly all power. Like, I just, I just genuinely think the power is the way to go this year. And now there are a lot of the like, infield hits. So, if you do like make like kind of weak contact in the infield with guys like Billy Hamlin, they will get on base. But I mean, it only accumulates to one run. And I just I like having power. I like having the threat that no matter who was up on the dish, that they could hit home runs. Now we can set up the bench here, so for the bench I do the worst overall second baseman you have, throw him on the bench, he will never get used. He is just to strictly bring down the rating, so we can take off Springer there, he is just strictly bringing down the rating. Now why second baseman? Second base overalls are influenced anyways, so if you were to move this guy anywhere else, say to shortstop or first or, or the outfield, he would be uh, like a 44 overall, he would be an absolutely atrocious overall. So. I mean, if you can even get, like, a, I don't know what the lowest overall second base is, but if you can get him, then uh, I would go ahead and get him. Actually, you know, we'll throw an uh, old Gift gift, gift and Gope, because he's a good old Blue Jay. Uh, now, who else for the bench? So, for the bench, we do have Lucas Duda. He is my pincher against righties. He absolutely rakes. We can throw him on the bench. I don't really give a too long of an introduction. We do have Tommy Joseph. Uh, not not too good. He doesn't really. He's like the kind of like third, third or fourth guy, like third guy for a pinch hitter. It was really late in the game. He doesn't have bad stats against either side. Um, and plus, I just I did very well with him last year, so that's why I use him. Uh, who else is on the bench? Um, I'm drawing a blank. Who else is on the bench? Oh yeah, Trevor Story. So depending on inside edge, I either use Story or DeYoung, but I do throw one of them on the bench, and I mean. The thing is with Story, I'll bring him in uh, for a lefty, but the thing is he can also hit righties really good, so. 
And then for the th for the uh, fifth and final spot, I use Terran Score as a pinch runner. So that is that. So I will also just put in the worst uh, common pitchers I have. So all these guys put in. Ricky Davis and like that. So that's a 70 overall, and now the bet, and now the bullpen. I mean, this is pretty similar to what my bullpen is, except uh, unfortunately, I don't know why this card exists, and I and I would really love it to go, even though I do have a 104 innings pitch with it. I would rather see it go, cause it fucking is so bad to face. It just completely ruins the game. It feels like, but I do use reliever Nico, so you can put him in instead of Rodney. Uh, so for the lefties, these are pretty much the key lefties here. So Britain, Britain's not too bad. He's not as good as he was last year, but I mean he's not very che he's not very uh, expensive. Felipe Rivero, um, probably one of the worst uh, lefties. I'm gonna be honest, but this goal Tony Watson is an absolute monster. So really, you, j you really just want to rock three lefties. But I mean, you can use like this Mike Dunn is amazing for a lefty. Uh, even just like regular Tony Watson. Uh, Really, Deekman. I know a lot of people use Deekman. I, I'm not a fan of Deekman though this year, so I don't really use him. Never use Nate Jones. Nate Jones tips his pitches, and I always see a lot of people uh, go with Nate Jones. Do never use Nate Jones. You can also use Brad Hand. Uh, I'm gonna actually try out Brad Hand instead of Rivero. Uh, I do love Wade Davis though. Wade Davis is probably one of my favorite uh, relievers in this game. David Robertson, I, I sometimes use, and then uh, Pedro Stroke kind of too. Oh, I do use his goal Houston Street though. Houston Street is an absolute uh, monster in this game. Uh, I believe that is it. I, that is actually a 69 overall. I think it's because I don't have... Uh, what's his name? I think, I, I think it's because I don't have... Uh, I don't know why it's 69 overall. It, it's not in the actual event, but that's how I set up my lineup. 7, 12, and O's. I absolutely love, love events. Rather than the fact of the Necro. The Necro just kind of kills it, but it's like, you have to use him because everybody else does, but I don't know who would SDS thought it would be a good idea to add in this, this Necro and especially just like, like, to be able to use him. Like, I don't know. I don't know. He's just, he's a stupid, stupid card and he shouldn't be in the game. That, that's, that's my reasoning. I, and I would think most 99.9% .9 of people would agree. So that is how I set up the lineup. So for events, guys, you really just want to rock power. You want to rock the common starting pitching. Never use uh, like a silver or gold for the for the starting. Now, unless uh, like like it's 69 overall for me. So uh, I don't know if I can even throw like a Carlos Martinez in there. No, I can't. Uh, I think one I used was Kyle Hendricks, but I mean like Bob Gibson or something like that. But you see, like they don't even work. So. Uh, just rock with the common rotation, and then there is the line. So you want to take a screenshot of that and try. Uh, please try it out. Uh, you will not be uh, regretting it. I absolutely love this line. There's the bench, and then there is the bullpen. So I think that's it for this video, guys. So overall, I mean, I think I've made probably it's it's definitely up around 500k now, for sure with the cumulative. And I have gotten a little bit lucky with some rewards, you know, with Stan and uh, and Votto. But I mean, seven times, you know, you're bound to get lucky, and I, I've gotten screwed on a couple, I've gotten Mab on, and I've gotten Jose Ramirez twice, but uh, I'm going to keep grinding out, I believe I'm 2-0 on a fresh run. Uh, be sure to let me know what you guys think of the event, how many 12 rows have you gotten, what have your rewards been. Let me know what you think of some of the players I showed you today, guys, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, go follow my Twitter and my Twitch. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.